Oh, well, here we are at one of the uh, one of the really uh, warmest days this morning as we're walking up towards Restoration Point. Um, been through Palm Sunday, now we're deeply into Holy Week, and I'm sure you've all heard about the controversy about you know the Christian pastors who choose somehow not to. Um, Council in-person worship and uh, sort of like you know what's that all about what's that all about I remember one young lad telling me that he had uh, sort of you know left his church and he had he had found this uh, pastor that uh, put the Bible on the table and the pastor said you know you can hold me accountable for everything in that Bible because that's my rule book Whew, really? It's such a rule book. Wow, you've got a lot of work to do, Pastor. A lot of work. And let me tell you why. This is what I've seen in my experience. We have, in the, in the Christian tradition, we have a whole array of scriptures that are some historical, some poetic, some allegorical, uh, some with great miracles. And the question I think we need to ask ourselves is, you know, which stories inform us? Which stories do we follow? Because you can't follow them all. And I think that's why we have such great divergence in how Christians think about certain issues. Namely, do we all come together and worship on Easter? Or do we stay home protecting one another? Am I your shepherd who tells you to stay home so we can be safe? But God is great, and through his Spirit, we are all connected, whether we like it or not. So what are the stories that inform me, the ones that I follow? Well, it would have to do quite highly Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, where he talks about who are blessed, peacekeepers, those who work for righteousness, those who take care of people who are most vulnerable. I would also go to the story in Matthew about when did you serve those who were hungry in prison in need of food and clothing? When, when, did you, when did you do that? Because if you do, you serve me. And so the stories that most inform me are Jesus' willingness to heal, to reach out to heal people who are most vulnerable, who are not in his religious or social class even his willingness to humble himself, his willingness to see creation as one, as we are all one, created by one essence and being, whom Jesus calls the Father. Those are the stories that inform me. And when I look at putting those stories on my plate and seeing around me, that those stories may not be important to other Christians. <laughs> And you know what? I might be wrong. I might be wrong. People press me with this one. Well, if Jesus, if you're saying that, that there are many ways to, to, to follow Jesus, that the Jesus way is, is universal among various religions, what happens if you're wrong? And I say, well, you know, the God that I choose to believe in is a God who will listen to me. And I will be able to say, hey, God, I thought you told me this. I, this is how I was led to to do your work in the world, and you're, and you're saying I'm wrong now? Well, forgive me. Forgive me. Maybe I got it wrong. But maybe not. <laughs> so those, those are the issues with faith today that we Christians walk through Holy Week. And we were come to Maundy Thursday, or Holy Thursday. Uh, Maundy comes from, I believe, the Latin, a, a mandatum. A, I, I, I give you a new a new law that you love one another as I have loved you. And uh, I wash your feet to show you that I am not above you and I care for you. And I give you my body and blood. And at the end there is glory. You can't get the glory without going through the cross. And brothers and sisters, many of us are going through the cross right now. We are walking that road of Good Friday. We are going to be put up on a cross and many of us will die. But we do so with the hope 
And the hope is, is the important thing of God's promises. I don't know about you, but I'm willing to stand up and hold God to God's promises. Yeah, yeah, hold him to his promises. Why not? Because that's the kind of God that I think we should follow. Have a great Holy Week. Tune in with me on Monday Thursday, where I do a short uh, Monday sur sur uh, Thursday service that you can do in your home, and also a resurrection worship that you can do in your own home on Easter morning as well. God bless you. Let's stay with one another, protect one another. Bless you.